What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. Today we're discussing about Troll Store, whether you can install it on iOS 17.0.1 and newer, all the way up to iOS 18, what prevents you from doing so on certain versions, and what we have in store for Troll Store going forward. So probably a lot of you know about Troll Store is a tool created by OPA334, the developer behind Dopamine Jailbreak, and this one essentially installs applications on iOS without signing them. So you don't have to resign them, you don't have to keep on using Alt Store or certificates and so on. However, being based on a vulnerability, it actually requires that vulnerability to be present on the iOS version, so it doesn't work with all devices and all iOS versions. I put together an article here on iDeviceCentral.com, an in-depth one about Troll Store on iOS 17.0.1 up to 18.3. Can you still install it? Why is it was patched and what was patched? Now, the official support, as you can see here on my website, goes up to iOS 17.0, not the base the 17.0 final version. It is supported on all devices. Now, the installation method, as you know, is different depending on the iOS version. You either have Troll Installer X or Troll Restore. And of course, with Troll Restore, you can install it on iOS 17.0. And that's the latest version that we've got, the latest update back in September. However, you probably know that iOS 17.0.1 and newer are not supported. But why is that? Well, Troll Store itself is based on several vulnerabilities, most of them in Core Trust and in Amphi and stuff like that. Amphi handles the code signing, so it's Apple Mobile File Integrity. And the code signing is an important thing on iOS because it's what prevents you from installing applications from unknown sources or, you know, unsigned and so on. It's also what verifies the signature of your application and it will not open the app if the seven day certificate, for example, has expired. So having a vulnerability in Amphi or in Core Trust is a big deal because you can bypass all of those things. That is exactly what Troll Store was and what it used. It's the CVE 2023-41991, which is essentially used to bypass the certificate validation. And this one was in fact patched. Apple took note of it and patched it in iOS 17.0.1. Hence why you can't install Troll Store on that version or newer. This did happen before. The first version of Troll Store actually only worked on iOS 14 and iOS 15, as far as I can remember. And uh, that vulnerability was patched. But then after a while, Apple reintroduced that same vulnerability again in iOS in a different format, but still in core trust. And we were able to make Troll Store 2, which supports up to iOS 17.0. Now, will that happen again a third time? It's less likely because I think Apple by now has indeed learned from their mistakes. But if they didn't, and they do get to create a new vulnerable version of Core Trust in the newer iOS versions, it's not completely impossible to see Trollstar making a comeback. However, for now, the chances that Apple screws up the same thing three times in a row is actually quite low. Now, you can do a lot with Trollstar, and for those of you who are on a supported version, I highly recommend you do not update, because you may never have a similar chance again. But yes, the vulnerability used in it is patched, and it's very unlikely we're going to see again such a vulnerability unless Apple screws up a third time. Anyway, this video was brought to you by 8K Sec. They have an iOS security course that you can definitely check out. It's great because if you want to learn how to make your own jailbreaks or tools like Troll Store, if you want to find iOS vulnerabilities, they do go in depth about the iOS kernel, the security techniques used on the iOS. And yeah, you can learn how to find vulnerabilities, build exploits and so on. Check the uh, course out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I'm GS Snow. Peace out.